Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Meredy. I'm a first year, fourth grade teacher, and today is going to be a day in the life. As I am starting to film this video, I'm getting ready to drive to work. I'm currently parked in my driveway, still getting ready to leave. But I wanted to film today because we are going on a field trip to the planetarium, which is why I have my um, space shirt on. I got it on Shein. Um, but we're going to the planetarium because our whole first unit that we have been, that we just finished was all about space. And so we planned a field trip to a planetarium, just like, it's only like 30 to 40 minutes away from our school. Um, and so I wanted to take you guys with us on the field trip today. I'm a little nervous. I planned the whole field trip got everything ready for it. I'm so afraid that I forgot something, but I have the confirmation from the school and from the planetarium. And so I think we should be set to go. So I am going to um, stop by the store real fast and grab myself just like a quick, I think honestly, I know I'm an adult, but I'll probably grab myself a Lunchable because we're eating lunch on the field trip, but we're not going to have like an actual lunch period we won't have access to like microwaves or anything and so usually I take leftovers but all the leftovers I have in my fridge right now require heating up for me to eat them so I'm just gonna go buy myself a Lunchable and a Diet Coke and put it in my backpack with all the paperwork I have to take to the field trip and um, that's what I'll have for lunch so let's get this day started all right so I ended up just going to Maverick because I knew that if I went into a store, I would get distracted. My plan was to go to a store, decided that I better not. <laughs> so now I am um, driving over to my mom's house. It is 7.02, I have to be at the school by 7.30. Luckily I only, my mom and I both only live like 10 minutes away from the school. We actually live on like the same street. So I didn't, I went and I got um, a lunch for me and for her because she teaches first grade, I teach fourth grade, and we both have field trips today to different places, so that's kind of fun. So I grabbed a lunch for both of us, and she is feeding the dogs. My dog lives at her house currently because in my apartment that I live in, he is not allowed. I don't want to break my contract, um, and so my husband and I are moving next week, so maybe I'll make a vlog about that. During fall break, we're moving, but... Um, for now he's living with my mom. So I'm gonna go visit him. He's got a cone on his head because he got a little nick on his ear when being groomed. Um, he was being groomed by my husband and I. It wasn't a professional. Um, we've groomed him before and we've never had any issues. We just nicked his ear like a tiny little paper cut. But because it's on his ear, he has to wear a cone because if he scratches it, he's going to make it larger and make it infected. And so he's a little grouchy because he has a cone on his ear, but on his head to block his ear. But I will show you guys my cute little puppy because everybody deserves the joy of seeing a little puppy. Okay, when I go inside, he's gonna like come running. Usually he does, we'll see. Scouterama. Hi. How are you? Hi, baby. Oh, are you so sad? Are you happy today? You look happy. Yeah, hi. Let me pet you, hi, Bubba. Hi, I love you so much. All right, now that I have gone to see Scout and I have let him out to go to the bathroom, made sure he has food. I am gonna go to the school. I have 12 minutes to get there on time and I think I can do it because like I said, it's a 10 minute drive. So unless I hit every single traffic light on the way there, I think I should be okay. So, woohoo. I got to the school right on time. Excuse me, clocked in right at 7.30, which is great. Um, I'm going to show you my outfit for today. And then um, I have got to make some copies of things for the chaperones for the field trip. And make sure I have everything ready for my students to arrive to school. This is my outfit. I've got my lanyard. I have my claw clip. Gotta have that because I always end up using it. Um, I love this shirt. I got it on Sheen and I actually think... Um, that one of the other teachers I follow 
on TikTok and on Instagram has it. Um, I'll have to look up who it was, but anyways, and then I have my jeans that I have had forever and always wear, and then these shoes from Walmart. I was going to wear boots because it's fall, but um, these are going to be a lot more comfortable because we're doing a lot of walking, and I'm going to borrow, my mom's going to bring it because I forgot to grab it at her house. I'm going to borrow an orange cardigan from her because it's a little chilly outside today. And I curled my hair. I've got these earrings that I got at Maurice's that I wear all the time. And yeah, that's my outfit for today. some of the activities that we did there and the bus ride back. Um, I think that field trip teacher tired is a new level of teacher tired because I am exhausted. And I feel like I looked so much cuter when I left the house this morning. And now I'm just like, my hair's up. I did end up wearing a cute orange sweater. I don't think I got any clips of it, but it was so cute. And it's off because it's hot now. And I'm pretty sure the windows down on the bus destroyed the curl in my hair, except for maybe these little bits of curl. My hair is really straight naturally, so it doesn't hold the curl very well, let alone when it's like blow dried straight or yeah, anyways. Um, but the field trip was really great. We got there, we got to explore some of the exhibits. They had like all of these cool, like interactive games where you could like create a black hole and compare the sizes of Earth to other um, stars and planets and things in our solar system. And they had like a green screen and they had this area where it looks like you're walking on Mars. I took all these cute pictures of my students. Sadly, I can't share them with you guys unless I like completely edit out their faces, which I could do but I took a lot of pictures so maybe I will try to um, edit in a few photos with emojis over their faces just so you can kind of see a little bit of what I did without exposing who my students are so if I can figure out how to do that those will be right here So I hope you enjoyed those pictures if I was able to figure out how to put them in there. And if I didn't figure out how to put them in there, I am sorry. But I can tell you from my own mind and just from how great today was that they were so cute. The students loved it. We, after we explored the exhibits for a little bit, we saw this presentation on the earth. So they have like this giant globe that looked like it was just like floating. Like you couldn't see the strings holding it up and there was no strings to put below it. It looked like it was just floating in the air and it was the, it was like, so it started out as the earth and then they were able to change it to like the moon and the sun and they talked about different things and the students were able to look at everything up close, which was really cool. And then we went to the dome theater, which if you haven't been into a dome theater, you need to experience it sometime. So find a planetarium in your local area and go because it's so cool. It's like the whole ceiling is shaped like one big dome and it's a, it's a screen, a movie screen. So we watched this video on the constellations and there was like one of the workers there. It was very interactive, like he would ask questions and I was so proud of my students because they knew all the answers, which means that they actually learned something in science, which just made me really happy because I was like, I was so worried that they were gonna get in there and be like, we don't know and then I was gonna be like oh man they learned nothing but they learned so much and they all knew the answers they even corrected 
the presenter at one point and I was kind of embarrassed because I was like, oh, like that wasn't very nice. But he was like, you know what? You were right. I got that wrong. Thank you for correcting me. And it was, it just made me proud. I was like a proud mom, even though I'm not a mom and they're not my kids. And then um, after the Dome Theater, we explored the exhibits some, exhibits some more. Um, they got to play, they just have so many cool, like everything is interactive. Like there's like a tornado simulator and they can like stand in it and it like blows their hair up and all sorts of crazy things. And it was just so much fun. And they had just had so many amazing things. So anyways, uh, that was my field trip. And I think I'm just going to continue my vlog for the rest of the day. Um, so it is 3.57. Teachers leave the school at 3.45. When we got, we got back to the school from the field trip around 2.30. And we had what was called self-direction time. Which is the time where our students are able to take responsibility for themselves. And work on assignments that they did not finish throughout the day. So typically they work on homework from all the different assignment, all the different like lessons and all the different things that were assigned throughout the day because my principal does not want us as teachers sending homework home with our students. So rather than them going home and doing homework, they get 30 minutes to 45 minutes every single day at the end of school, even on short days, to work on assignments that they weren't able to complete during the class time. Um, and, but today, like everyone's caught up because we just, finished a whole unit and so they're all caught up and we didn't have um, homework for them to work on and since we weren't here today what I did is I just had them all like write on a piece of paper what they learned on the field trip and what their favorite like exhibit was and something that they enjoyed and then um, we just had a class discussion and did our classroom jobs and cleaned up our room because it wasn't left very clean yesterday and now I am going home. Like they all left at 3.05. I had almost 45 minutes. I had 40 minutes of time to prep. Um, I didn't actually do much prep. I actually went into a meeting about one of my students with my instructional coach because she's been helping, helping me monitor a student and I just had some things I needed to tell her from today. Um, and then now I'm going to go home. So, oh, what is that? It's a fly, it's fine. There's a fly in my car. That's gonna be fun to drive home with. Um, now my plan is when I get home, I'm going to try and, f oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna try and figure out what to do for dinner, but I forgot that I am going to Olive Garden because my sister's birthday is tomorrow, but she's going out of town. She's gonna fly to Seattle, Washington. And so, what are my students? Um, and so instead of me figuring out what I'm going to cook for dinner, I'm going to go home. I'm going to work on homework because I have a ton of homework to catch up on for my last and final semester of school, which is so exciting. Anyways, I'm talking way too much. So time to go home. myself a drink because I am exhausted so I'm gonna get myself a drink from Fizz and I'm gonna get my husband a drink from Fizz and just surprise him with one because he's doing yard work at his grandmother's house so I'm taking a detour on the way home <laughs> what can I get started for you today um can I get a peaches for I just called Tanner and he said that he wasn't able to leave work early to go to his grandma's house to help her with yard work. He's still gonna go, but he doesn't get off until five, it's 4.15. And so um, instead of me taking it to his grandma's, I'm still gonna take it to him at work 
because he deserves it. Today, I made, I got you a peaches for me and a chonut. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, it's a... Uh, a churro donut? Yeah, and it's delicious. It's like two of my favorite things combined. <laughs> he does not like being filmed, but he's adorable. So anyways, gave him his treat. And now I'm gonna go home and do homework. I don't really want to, but I have to. of the assignment I wanted to finish done, but I'm like literally falling asleep. I don't know if you guys can see in that clip, I was like falling asleep mid type and then I was having to like correct what I typed because it wasn't right. So I got up, walked around for a second um, and then, uh, anyway, sorry, my video was distracting me. I should have turned it off, let me pause it. Okay, anyways, um, and then I sat back down and I was able to finish the portion that I was working on, but now I still have, like, the second half of the text box to do, um, and I'm going to dinner with my family, which I already mentioned earlier, but I need to take a nap so that I can stay awake, so I'm going to take a 20-minute power nap and then make sure I'm ready for dinner with my family for my sister's birthday, and then when I come home from dinner tonight, I will finish this text box, so... It's no lie though that, oh my gosh, this field trip made me more exhausted than any school day so far. I'm so tired, but it was so much fun. <laughs> so literally as soon as I laid down to start taking a nap, my mom called and then my husband called and then my sister called and then my husband called again. <sighs> and now I have to get ready to go. So I didn't get a nap. It's okay. It's fine. So let's get ready for dinner. Okay, the hair's been brushed through. Looks a lot better. Kind of held the curl. I'm going with it. I think I'm going to leave my outfit on from the field trip because I think this space looks really cute. I know it's not in order. My husband pointed that out, like the first thing he said was that, and I was like, I know, but it's cute. That's the whole point. So the planets are in an order, but it's still really cute. Um, I wore tennis shoes for the field trip, but I think for dinner, I'm gonna wear these cute black boots from Walmart. Okay, so I got the boots on, and then I threw on this green jacket, because even though I think the shirt looks cute by itself, I feel weird wearing the boots with the short sleeve shirt. So I threw on this jacket. Don't know if it'll stay on the whole dinner, but this is what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight. We're going to Olive Garden. So it's my sister's favorite and we're celebrating her birthday. So that's where we're going. And I'm really excited because they have amazing breadsticks. <laughs>
so we've been home from dinner for a couple hours now. My husband and I came home and we both just sat on the couch and he played his game and I played a game and we just enjoyed some quiet time and let our food digest. It was delicious. Olive Garden is always delicious and it was fun to celebrate my sister. But now it is like 1042 and so we are going to go to bed. But thank you all for watching if you've made it this far. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.